Welcome to the Billabong Zoo in Port Macquarie. My name's Blake, and these are some of our meerkats that we have here at the zoo. So at the moment, we have three little boys. They're all about 10 or 11 years of age. Their names are Taboo, Keto, and Faraji. So uh, a couple of brothers, not our first meerkat. So we've had meerkats for quite some time. Often we get asked about breeding. Of course, we don't really anticipate any little meerkats turning up in our enclosure with three boys. So maybe one day, but at the moment, we're, uh, we're pretty happy, and they're pretty happy to be three little bachelors here in our enclosure at Billabong. Zoo. Now what I'm feeding them at the moment is, is quite a, a mixture of the different feeds that they get through the day, but they have four feeds every day. They have very high metabolisms. In the morning and the afternoon they receive what we refer to as a primary meat feed. So sometimes they get mice and other times they get dailed chicken and maybe even boiled egg. Uh, in the afternoon they get a mixture of different fruits and vegetables. Now what they like is corn and banana, grapes, those sort of things, and then just like your kids at home we have to make sure that they're eating a sweet potato, green beans, all of that other essential stuff too. Now, of course, in the wild, most of what a meerkat would eat would be little insects just like this. So today I've got some mealworms. Mealworms, wood roaches, crickets, fly pupae, these are all things that our meerkats would eat. So meerkats are very community oriented little creatures. All the meerkats have lots and lots of different jobs to do through their day. So first thing in the morning when they get up, when they clean out their dens and burrows, they wanna make sure they're clean and hygienic for the next night of sleep. They wanna make sure that they're structural so there's not gonna be any cave-ins. They make sure they're accessible. So through the day, at any point, there could be a predator coming, looking to gobble them up for lunch. So they need to make sure that they can get back into the safety and security of inside their tunnel. So they clear the entrances out and everybody has to pitch in on these jobs before they're allowed to go and eat anything. And when they do head off to eat, something we all tend to remember meerkats for is that quintessential sentry duty. So finding a vantage point where you can look out and over the surrounding terrain and keep a watch for life for anything that could be sneaking on in. And again, predators can come from just about anywhere. A meerkat has between 25 and 30 different noises that they make. A lot of them are different warning signals, snake, bird, jackal, whatever it might be, to let other meerkats know that they need to get somewhere safe and they need to get there quickly. Helping them do that job is the black banding around their eyes. So it's supposed to draw the sunny rays into the black fur and enable them to, uh, to stare up into the sun for what is often three or four hours at a time before their shift on century ends and another meerkat's gonna come in and let them go on a bit of a break and go and have some lunch of their own. All right guys, so from me here at the Billawong Zoo, Keto, Taboo, Faraji, thanks for tuning in and we hope to see you again here at the zoo someday soon.